Is there a link between and what triggers APS to become catastrophic APS, if at all? This is a very, very severe form of the, of the antiphospholipid syndrome. It affects only less than 1% of the population with APS. In the data available so far, nobody have a large amount of patients, okay? Beverly and us with Graham Hughes here, maybe we have over the last 30 years, what? One per year, maybe we have 30, 40 patients. It's a severe manifestation, with clotting problems in the brain level, at lungs, at kidney, at the same time, in a short period of time. And the patient end up in intensive care, and unfortunately, 50% of the patient die if we don't act quickly. So there is triggers. In, there is a register for this disease. It's very rare. There is about 300, 400 published around the world. So there is registry held in Barcelona. One of our fellows, Cervera, Graham put his photograph there. And he's holding registry, and he has so far about 400 patients. And 50% of those patients who have the syndrome have triggers. And the trigger usually infection, or for some reason, the anticoagulation was stopped to do biopsy, to do uh, dental work or whatever in the past, and the, the, the syndrome happened. There is trigger in about 50% of the time, and infection was of the major triggers for this. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, severe, severe. Yeah. No, 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 severe infection. Sorry. Okay.